To complete the installation of the third green roof on the Swarthmore College campus, two different techniques were used to plant the five levels of Kempal roof. Fifteen different types of sedum and seven other types of plants were used on this five level, 7,000 square foot roof. The first technique of gently scattering sedum cuttings over the growing media was applied to four extensive sections of the green roof. To learn more about the differences between extensive, intensive, and semi-intensive green roofs, view part one of this video series. A hundred pounds of six different types of sedum cuttings were mixed by hand prior to being applied to the roof. Sedum is the most common plant chosen for extensive green roofs because it can tolerate and thrive in all unique conditions of growing on a roof. These conditions include drought in a thin, free-draining growing media and periods of saturation of the substrate layer. High temperatures are found on the roof where there is no shelter from trees or shrubs and the surrounding concrete and stone absorbs and radiates heat. These roofs are also exposed to high winds which may cause physical damage to plants and decimate vegetation. There are nearly 600 species of sedum with a wide variety of leaf colors and textures to choose from. Depending on your location in North America, sedum can produce a floral display from March to November. Hardy from Zone 3A to 9, sedum are commonly known as stone crop or pine. This low growing genus can have flower color of pink, white, or yellow, and some produce a red to evergreen rosette that changes color with the seasons. Six different types of sedum were planted on four of the five layers of Kempal green roof, seen listed here. After the cuttings were evenly distributed on top of the roof, they were raked into the growing medium and watered. Returning the roof two months later after planting, you can see the sedum cuttings have begun to root and will eventually form a vegetative carpet of sedum on the roof.